can find out more about today's election pledges on the, and the latest on the campaign on our website. That's bbc.co.uk slash news. A surfer who survived for more than 30 hours clinging to his board in the Irish Sea has been described as extremely lucky by the Belfast Coast Guard who saved him. 22-year-old Matthew Bryce was reported missing when he failed to return from a trip off the Argyle coast on Sunday. He was eventually spotted by a helicopter 13 miles offshore. Our correspondent Chris Buckler is on the Antrim coast for us. Chris. Yeah, the weather was good throughout the bank holiday weekend, but make no mistake, the water behind me is cold and it is dangerous. Matthew Bryce left a beach near Campbelltown just before lunchtime on Sunday, but he wasn't found until last night, and that was after a major rescue operation needed because of the sheer amount of water that needed to be searched before he was finally spotted by that Coast Guard helicopter. After more than a day drifting in the water, Matthew Bryce was found by the Coast Guard floating miles from land. He was still by the surfboard he left the Argyle coast on on Sunday morning, but when he was finally rescued on Monday evening, he was closer to Northern Ireland than Scotland. The waters around the UK at this time of year are near enough at their coldest you know if you go in the water this time of year just on the beach you know how long you would want to spend in it but you know if you think for over 32 hours in those conditions then uh, yeah it would be uh, extremely debilitating on him search and rescue teams from both sides of the Irish Sea work together in an effort to find Matthew Bryce who's from Glasgow but he's now being treated in hospital in Belfast the waves in this water make both the Scottish and the Northern Irish coasts a popular destination for surfers. The Coast Guard say Matthew was lucky, but he was also prepared, wearing a wetsuit that may well have saved his life. He was also able to stay close to his surfboard. When he was plucked from the sea, he was hypothermic but conscious, rescued just as evening was approaching, and in the Coast Guard's own words, extremely lucky to have been found. Well, Matthew Bryce is expected to make a full recovery. He is exhausted. He is receiving treatment at the Ulster Hospital and he's asked for privacy at this time. However, he has, within the last half an hour, just released a statement. He said, I am so grateful that I'm now receiving treatment in hospital. I can't thank those who rescued and cared for me enough. They are all heroes. Kate. Chris, thank you.